Hello and welcome to the SysCard video tutorials. My name is Sergey and today we are going to speak about the templates. First of all, I would like to explain you what the templates are. In a word, the templates are the files that contain all the information about the look of your store. These files are located in Design, Templates. Now let's take a look at all the panels and buttons here. At the left we have a list of the templates files. Here we have the plus button. By using this button we can create new files with uh, the new templates. Ok, this is another plus button. Here you can create file, create folder for files and upload files. Ok, and the gear button. With the gear button you can make on-site template editing. Well, I'll be speaking about this a little bit later. You can restore from the repository some files uh, if you made some changes and you didn't like them and you want to recover your files. You can download files if you choose, for example, customer screenshot PNG and then choose and then click download. You will download it on your computer. Okay, you can also rename it just like this. Okay. And uh, as usual, you can delete any file you like. First, I would like to speak about on site template editing. This is it. As you might remember, this thing uh, looks exactly like the visual editor. But um, the main difference is that after clicking the editor button, you get not the text or I don't know, uh, the picture you will get the HTML code that you can edit just um, right on the page, right on the storefront. Well, and after that you just click save or you click restore from the repository. Uh, if, you, if you did something wrong, well, and that's it. The changes have been applied. Easy as can be. But uh, the real thing starts not with this editor because uh, it's just for some easy changes, some uh, from time to time changes, I don't know. The real thing starts when you go back to the templates page and start editing the files. There are lots of ways to edit the templates. And the first is to go to the CSS folder and then edit the styles.less file. Well, I do not recommend you to do this because uh, this file is connected straight to the core of a store. So uh, any changes you make here will affect the store. And uh, well, if you don't have enough experience in uh, HTML or PHP, uh, the result uh, might be disappointing, you know. And you have to recover all of your files. You know, you have to make a backup and then restore this backup or you have to restore the file from the repository. So to avoid any problems, I recommend you to stick to the other ways of editing. For example, instead of the editing the styles file, you can add new styles with the add-ons. Each add-on has its own styles file. And when you create the new add-on or add the new add-on, you add the new styles. Is enough? Uh, another way is um, to go to Design, Themes, and use the Theme Editor. Here we go. In this case, we will need not general logos and so on, we will need custom CSS. Yes. You take HTML code, enter it inside field and uh, edit the information uh, just don't forget to create your own style just like this uh, for example modern uh, modern you know unique okay oh well not now <laughs> not now I'm sorry uh, anyway it's not a problem the only thing you need to do is to enter the information right here and save your changes. After that, your new style with your custom CSS settings will be saved at 
the templates page yeah and you will be able to find it in style uh style yes in styles data so as you can see here we have modern css modern s modern png and here you have your new style for example modern unique css less and png yeah uh, and uh, after and after that you can make some additional changes too right here yeah here okay in the last files okay i think there is only one thing left that i would like to tell you about um, the templates folder here you can find all the templates for all the pages and all the objects in the store for example for the add-ons of blocks for example for example product templates yeah big picture template and default template uh, well as an example just let me show you the default template is this the general look of the products page then you make changes here you will be able to see them here on this page i mean on any products page uh, so you can do the same thing with um, i don't know categories yes filters pages and so on after you make changes in the templates file and then save them they will be automatically applied to the pages on the storefront one more, one more thing about add-ons when you create add-ons to create new styles uh, this measure helps you to save your styles changes after the upgrades so you don't have to make it all over again you just install your add-on with your style and uh, the style is applied to your store after the upgrade the templates are not the elementary level but after you master them they will become the best way to make your store look unique and outstanding thanks for watching and see you in the next syscart video tutorials